Not many people are aware of this fact, but Ford has lost more money from vehicle recalls over the past five years than any other car company in America. Well, now they're asking owners of some of their cars to not park in the garage because there's a risk that their car will set itself on fire and burn down the house. I'm not joking. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. Thank you for subscribing and liking. Really appreciate your support. And thank you to our Patreon supporters. Without you guys, we wouldn't be able to do what we do. Now, if you want to invest in Tesla, BYD, Xpeng, Neo, any of those companies, and there's many, many more you can invest in. If you're in Australia, the UK, and the US, you can use the Stake app. That's the app I use. There's no trading costs. I've traded on there maybe 200 times, just doing little small transactions. And you don't pay per transaction. You only pay to put money in your account. I think it's like a couple of percent. And after that, there's no transaction fees at all. But if you want to start an account, you can do so by using my code. If you use my code, you get a free stock. You can get a free stock, if you're lucky, that's worth Nike. It's worth about just over 100 US dollars. The average free stock you get is worth about 10 bucks. But anyway, it's worth starting now because as you know, this is happening. Disruption at a massive scale, one that's just unprecedented. Why do I say unprecedented? Because the automotive industry is the biggest industry in the world, right? And it's being disrupted. You might as well make some money out of it. So what's going on with Ford? Well, they're telling owners of some of their most popular current internal combustion powered SUVs to park their vehicles outside away from anyone and anything, if that's possible, after a series of engine fires that happened even when the ignition switches were turned off. Yeah, interesting is, right? Interesting thing here. The media is very quiet on this. I haven't heard pretty much anyone reporting on this. Very quiet, very, very quiet, strangely quiet. Back in May, Ford recalled nearly 40,000 Ford Expedition and Lincoln Navigator SUVs after telling owners to park them outdoors and away from homes and other buildings. On Friday, the company expanded that recall to cover more than 66,000 vehicles from the 2021 model year after getting reports of more fires. No one knows why it's happening. That's the scary part. That's not even the half of it, though, says Clean Technica. The company also announced on Friday that it's recalling yet another 100,000 SUVs in the US alone for a different problem that also causes engine fires. And the media is still being quiet on this. I think it's time for them to say something so that people know their car could burn down at any moment. If this sounds familiar, that's because Ford issued a similar recall for the Ford Bronco and the Escape twins earlier this year. That recall also related to fires impacted 345,000 vehicles. That's a lot. And is also not included in the 200,000 recall reported just a minute ago here on this channel. That's a lot of people being affected by fires in their Ford internal combustion engine vehicles. Now, Clean Technica claims that you just know that Chevy's PR team is choking back pearls of laughter over this particular turn of events. I don't think they are at all. I don't think anyone takes great pleasure and laughter at this kind of misfortune because this is affecting lots of people's lives, their livelihoods. It's affecting their ability to get to work. It's affecting their ability to make money. It's not something to laugh about. So writing those kinds of comments, in my opinion, is asinine. It's um. It's not, I wouldn't say insensitive, it's just ridiculous. Anyhow, Chevy and the Chevy Bolt EV have long been the victims of hysterical headlines and nonsensical questions about electric vehicle safety in the face of a dozen or so Chevy Bolt fires. Sure, it looks bad when the car you're selling suddenly catches fire and violently burns down some poor schmuck's house while his wife and kids and impossibly photogenic golden retriever are sleeping soundly in their beds but for all the ink that's been spilled on the electric Chevy Bolt setting itself on fire, and it did do that in dealerships as well. That was part of the problem. The cars were just sitting in dealerships and they just started burning themselves to the ground. There's surprisingly little meat to that story, says Clean Technica. Well, according to Sam Abel Samid, 
a leading industry analyst for Guidehouse Insights, only seven Chevy Bolts had spontaneously caught fire by September 2021, or about 0.006% of those on the road. By comparison, the National Fire Protection Association said 212,000 gas and diesel vehicles caught fire in 2018, or about 0.07% of those on US roads. That's a lot. I mean, that's nearly what... That's nearly 0.1% of all cars on US roads catching fire. 0.1%. That's like one in a thousand. That's actually scary to think that that is that probable. I mean, think about this, right? There's like, what, 10,000 times more likeliness. It's 10,000 times more likely that your internal combustion engine vehicle will set itself on fire than you will win the lotto. Uh That's concerning. For their part, Ford said Friday that it has traced the cause of this latest issue to printed circuit boards that are susceptible to an electrical short and that it has reported 21 fires and one injury but no reports of fires extending to buildings. Ford dealers have been instructed to check the box for melting damage and replace it if needed and also remove or repair a cooling fan ground wire that connects to the junction box. Ford expects parts to be available by early September, so SUV owners will have to wait a few months yet of parking outside and hoping their car doesn't set itself on fire. Having to wait, I mean, that's months away. Having to wait until September to know that your car is actually safe to drive, that's a long time. And frankly, to be honest, it's um, pretty bad for owners of those cars. It's gonna affect their lives. I don't know if it's even possible for all these people to park on the street. Um, I guess they're going to have to make it work. Now, for those of you wondering, right, about Tesla vehicles, because someone's always like, yeah, but Tesla vehicles set themselves themselves on fire. Well, here's the numbers. The Tesla Model S is now 10 years old. The Model 3 has been on sale for five years. The rate of Tesla fires is one in 210 million miles traveled. By comparison, data from the National Fire Protection Association, the NFPA, and U.S. Department of transportation show that in the US, there is one vehicle fire for every 19 million miles traveled. So using Tesla's older than average electric vehicle fleet, but certainly still less than the average age of fossil fuel vehicles on the road, that's less than one tenth the rate of fires in Tesla's vehicles versus internal combustion engine cars. So less than one tenth in a Tesla vehicle versus an internal combustion engine vehicle. Much less likely that your electric vehicle will set itself on fire than an internal combustion engine vehicle. The media should be reporting on that statistic. Not trying to brainwash people by thinking that electric cars just spontaneously combust when the truth is that gas-powered cars burn themselves to the ground 10 times more than electric ones. Let me know what you think of this story in the comment section below, but frankly, This is not looking good for Ford. I mean, I shared another video, I made another video recently about Ford having so many recalls lately. It's costing the company millions and millions of dollars. Ford have talked about this publicly. They're trying to make quality better in their cars because they're just having to spend too much money on recalls and on these quality issues. Now, Tesla is often in the news for their so-called quality problems, but the truth is the majority of Tesla issues can be fixed by an over-the-air software update, many it costs Tesla very, very little. On the other hand, Ford spends more money per car on recalls than any other manufacturer. That is definitely concerning for the brand and definitely concerning for owners of these particular models affected.